Good morning, guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. We had some unexpected um, snow last night, and so our fountain refroze over. But it's actually looking pretty sunny today. I don't know what kind of weather we're gonna have. Uh, it's chilly outside, but still nice. Good morning, birdies. Oh, start running. Here comes Borgie. Here comes the camera. And what are you doing, mister? What are you doing? Is this like the highlight of your day, waking up the birds? You ready to go for a walk? Making a locker for your American Girl doll. So here's what my floor is looking like right now. That's awesome. That stuff you can throw away. Oh no, that stuff you can throw away. So maybe we should go show them outside. So this is how Olivia's hair turned out. It looks inside. Okay, so here's kind of what it looks like. It doesn't, it's not looking super purpley or red this morning. All right, spin slowly. All right, here's what it looks like out in the sun. It it's definitely got a little bit more of a red orange. Yeah. Okay, here's the top of her head. So yeah, there's definitely some kind of reddish orange tint to it, but it's really subtle, you guys. It's almost like when she's inside, it's almost kind of hard to tell we did anything, but I don't think it was too drastic or anything, so I, know. I think it's good. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. I feel like we should die again. Well, we don't want to do it again yeah, right away because that'll be, yeah, that'll like be bad. A month or so. Time for day 15. So it's pretty light yellow with some darker bits and a little bit of pink and some blues. That one is pretty and that will be a nice change um, in color scheme for our cowl. Okay, so here is my progress. I added these two colors last night. This one and this one. So this is the one I added last night, and it's super pretty. And then we have this one from today. Here are the other colors I have still. And yeah, there's Jax coming to check out the new yarn. pick this yellow to add next. And then I wanted to quickly mention for anyone who is curious, I did pull this off of my Haya Hayas. I don't know, for some reason this cord is not very flexible. And so it's back on my Chow Goos and I just really am liking this cord a lot better. This one was like turning weird ways. This one's like nice and round, so it's okay. Jax has literally been playing with this cardboard for like hours <laughs> and a marker. <laughs> And we bought all those toys, and really all we need to do is just buy you some pieces of cardboard. <laughs> Ready, Jax? Ready? Go get it. <laughs> it's like a dog. Also, he likes these toilet paper rolls. Crazy cat. <laughs> it's like a Jax it. All right, Katie and I are headed out to run some errands. Nothing fun though. We're going to the bank, the post office. Then maybe ice skating. Grocery store. We might go ice skating today. We might um, push it off for 
a uh, couple days. We'll see. All right, sit up so we can see the unicorn. Unicorn. Does the horn poke into you? No. No. Bye. <laughs> We're at Sam's Club if you want to know. I guess. <laughs> Okay, let's go this way. Ooh. There's some in there. Yeah, and the key. Oh, Alright, so we're kind of excited. We had a package and a key in our box. We don't usually get keys. Oh, oh, somebody sent us a box. Right, so I'm really glad we checked my P.O. box. I don't check it that often because I don't usually get mail there, but we got a box and we got a package. So we will, the package might just be a return CD or something. Is it squishy or? It's squishy. Oh, well maybe not. I don't know. We'll open it for you guys when we get home, but yay, we're excited. We never get mail. All right, pull it open. <gasps> Erica, oh yes. Oh my gosh, mom, look at this kiss. Look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> jingle, jingle yay, jingle yay. Oh, that's uh, so pretty. Yay. Open it up, let's smell it. Fresh balsam. Mmm, it smells. I should smell that. Ooh, it smells good. And look how pretty the container is. Aww. And look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. We're not gonna put that in. All right, dear Erica, after I watched your holiday gift guide, I thought it might be fun to send you a little gift of gratitude. Thank you to you and your beautiful family for lighting the world with your goodness. I'm so grateful for all the helpful, fun, professional content you create and publish on your blog and YouTube channel. Thank you so much for sharing your talents. God has given you to bless the world. Your kindness, enthusiasm, and faith are contagious. May God bless you and your magnificent family. Laura Miller, Idaho. Oh, that was so nice of her. Thank you so much, this is so sweet. Look at how pretty it is. And we don't usually get gifts in our P.O. box, so that was really fun. I can't wait to light it. It's beautiful, thank you. Also, I wanna apologize because that actually showed up on December 3rd, and we are just kinda of bad about checking our P.O. box because we don't usually get gifts there, so um, I just wanna say thank you so much, that was super kind of you, and I'm really glad we went to check the box today. Also, this girl spent her own money and bought herself an early Christmas present. Do you wanna show everybody? Kind of saw it in the store there, but we are now the proud owners of this unicorn chair. a unicorn chair. Now you have to go clean your room, so there's room to put the unicorn chair in it. There's always room. <laughs> Finally got it. I went to three stores to get this. Everywhere has been out. We've been shopping all day. All I want to do is try and make gingerbread cookies. I've never made them before and I've been searching everywhere for ground cloves. We finally got them. All right, I think I finally have all my ingredients to make cookies, so we are gonna give it a try. Wish me luck. I've never made gingerbread before, but it has always been on my to-do list. I'm doing it right now, and I'm gonna turn on Christmas movies. All right, Katie's making the Christmas movies happen just to set our holiday vibe. Also, I wanna give a quick shout out to Summer and Rose for sending me this awesome scarf. This thing is so soft and comfy, and it's just kind of a cream color so it goes with everything. I'm trying to find the tag so you can see. Here it is, Summer and Rose right here. They sent this to me and I've literally been wearing it nonstop. It's actually pretty thick, um, but anyways, it's super soft, it's warm, and yeah, I'm loving it. So thank you guys for sending me this. I've pretty much been wearing it every day for the past, like, I don't know, since I got it. That smells really good. Here's What's it smelling? Gingerbread? Oh, yeah, maybe. Gingerbread or... I'm not sure what it is, but I like it. Some kind of a spice one. Today's tea is chocolate orange. That sounds good. This is what it looks like. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. It's not bad. 
It's not very strong. I thought it was gonna be stronger. This one was chocolate orange, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, that's good. I'm thinking of those, you know, those balls wrapped in like orange foil, the chocolate balls, and then you open them up and they all fall out in little orange slices sections. And those taste really good. So I really like those, but this isn't, it's not very strong. That's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's okay. It's not. It's not. <laughs> I want to like it more. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. Just because of the name, I wanted to like it more, but I'm, I'm like, eh, whatever. Okay. I think it's good. Take it or leave it. Yeah. Okay. Questions. questions. In stereo. Jinx. Coat. By me. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to go. Jinx, and then if. Double jinx. Triple, triple jinx. jinx. Quadruple jinx. <laughs> we obviously. I don't know, my kids do it. Cannot play that game. All right, we have a shout out to the Ward family. They have six kids and they homeschool. Nice. Hey guys. Hey. Thanks for watching. Okay, Homeschool for Life says, Jason, how do you feel about being featured in vlogs? Thank you guys for doing Vlogmas. We really enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Jason, how do you feel about fe being featured? In I love it. I used to not like it. I didn't want to be on the videos, but now I've kind of come to enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> like he's been that. a lot more into it this year. Last year he was kind of shy at first. I usually don't put him in any of my videos. Yeah. And then towards the end of Vlogmas last year, we were starting to get into it. Yeah. And then this year- I was excited like, for it this yeah, year. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. So yeah, we're good. Annie Rose said, Jason, what's your favorite animal to hunt? Have you tried bow hunting? She also said her brother-in-law's a fantastic guide in Kansas if you are ever interested. That's a tough one. I don't know. I like to hunt antelope probably is my favorite animal. Those are my favorite one to eat, Just I guess. Be, they're really hard to hunt and they're fun. Um, Why are they so hard? Because like they're really fast and they have really good eyesight and where I hunt you have to You have to walk so you know you're on foot and I don't know it's just fun you gotta crawl and it's just a lot more challenging Stealth through the <clears throat> So and then what was it? I've never hunted with a bow. Bow hunting. I would like to try that someday I think I have a friend that bow hunts or archery and um, Also, I've never done muzzle loading. What? And I'd like to do that as well So what's that? You know, like like the olden days well, where you like yeah, pack the powder, the powder in and a ball. I mean, it's a little more sophisticated. And then Kansas would be cool. That's not even that far. I could, I'd depend on how far east into Kansas it is. I could be there in a few hours. So. Yeah, that'd be cool. <clears throat> Aaron goes turkey hunting there. Does he? Pam Bradshaw, Jason, how far away from home do you work? Can you work from home sometimes? And what type of software do you develop? Uh, I work about 10, 15 miles. Um, it's actually a really nice commute right now, and I work on websites, so <clears throat> we're doing Ruby, Ruby on Rails. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and she also asked, Erica, can you roll skeins by hand? Um, yeah, you can. You can put, if you unwrap them, and you can put them around the back of a chair, and then, you know, hand roll, uh, you know, into a ball of yarn. I never really do that, because I have my ball winder, which I absolutely love, and it's way faster. Joanna Shoemaker said, how much younger is Jason? <clears throat> you want to answer take that? Take a drink first. <laughs> did you ever find our video about how mm -hmm. we met? Which vlog is it? You should link it because it. I did link it. It oh. was. I did link it in a couple nights ago. I forgot which one it was now. Sixteen maybe. Vlogmas sixteen from last year. Anyways, I am five years older than Jason, so we grew up in the same exact town. We went to the same exact schools. We did not meet each other until. After she was. Out of college. Yeah. I was gonna say after you were an adult. <laughs> Fine, I was an adult. I was 26, you were 21 when we met? 21. <clears throat> yep. So he was legal, it was, was totally a baby. fine. It was totally fine. She had a job, I, had a I was job. in college, I needed money. She I used had... to take me out to dinner. <laughs> I paid for the first like several years of our dating. Dating, and then now he's starting to pay off though. <laughs> Katrina Musgrave, Jason, what's your favorite Christmas cookie? Erica, what size quilts do you make and do they fit in your machine? Do you wanna go first? Sure, so cookies, I love cookies. Um, my daughter Haley makes really good chocolate chip cookies. She does, she has mastered um, the chocolate chips. My friend Kimmy makes really good, um, whatever those like sugar cookies. Yeah, you saw those last night. And then my Aunt Colleen makes us this, usually oh, a yeah. box of like, like peanut butter know. rice crispy treats. No, I like the ones that are like they're peanut butter chocolate, kind of like oh. squishy. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, those? I don't know what they're called, but yeah. So anyway, I like all cookies, especially if there's milk. <laughs> I, mean, I like Oreos. 
<laughs> My favorite cookies are Pizzelle cookies. We make them every, actually you'll see them here like coming up next week because my mom's coming down to make cookies. So Pizzelles are my favorite and yeah, I forgot about those peanut butter rice crispy mm -hmm. treats your Aunt Chloe makes. Those are They're awesome. Good. They're so good. She makes fudge. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and then the quilts. I don't know. I just make ones that are the patterns that I like. They tend to be queen size-ish. I've made a few bigger ones, but I don't think they were full king size yet. Um, and yes, they do fit in my machine. I kind of roll them up and put, you know, quilt half at a time so that I'm never trying to squinch a whole quilt in there. But yeah, they fit fine. I've never had a problem not being able to fit a quilt in my Juki. All right, I think that's it for us tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Vlogmas. Stick around tomorrow. We will have more coming your way. Bye. Bye. Ready? No. Okay. Yeah. Did you say no? Wait. No. Wait. What? I gotta sneeze. Wait. <laughs> I smell good. <laughs> <laughs> Hold like, on, I gotta sneeze. You like that cologne? You do smell good. What's your favorite word? Oh, let's answer that one. So mine is. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Out loud. Beep. <laughs> Bandit quiet. You guys ready? Okay. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for us tonight. Thank you. What? Thank All you right. for joining, joining us. us. <laughs> wow. All right, one more. One, two, three. One, two, three.